Hello, my people. <laughs> it is <laughs> it is nice to be back again. You see, whenever we are here online, most especially in this period, we have been in a series of how we can discuss to alleviate the problem that Nigeria is suffering right now. Actually, the country is in, in a serious problem that need serious solution. So, in that again, no no airing our views and all that, putting our heads together. Hopefully, we can bring the best to that. So most of the time, many people have aired their view concerning what could be the problem of the country. Many people have said, you know, many people have said, you know, some, some say that the problem of that country is because of our, you no know, too many tribes, you no, know, um, no police cousins and all that. Some have said that it's because of our, what, the, 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 the density of our population, that we are too many, that is the reason why the country is not growing. Some still say that the problem of that country is because of those who are needing us. They are, they are older than the country. They are very aged. Um, could all this be the problem of this country? And to me, I uh, will say, no. I don't think that could be the problem of this country. I talk about the problem of, you no know, many people are agitating for the vision that Nigeria should be split into two and all that. I told them that that is not the problem, that is not the solution of the problem we are having. No, like now many people, like the last video I said that our, our energy should be, should, shouldn't be just channeling on containing or seeing ending stars in all these our struggle protests and all that, just to end stars. No, I told them that the the problem of the Nigeria, the problem that Nigeria is facing is the pro SARS is the pro SARS is the product of the problem that Nigeria has. So if the solution is given, SARS will not be a problem. If we succeeded and then SARS today, what will happen? Will that bring the increment of common workers, the teachers and all that? Would that be the increment of you no know, other service and all that? Would that wouldn't be would that bring down the pump price of work or uh, if the SARS is ended today will that uh, bring about you no know, bring about the end of impunity corruption that we are suffering in this country no the, the answer is no will that bring the reduction of pump price the answer is no so my dear time have come that we should begin to channel our energy to the right source of this main problem that nigeria is suffering you no, know, many times if you should ask many people, you no know, go to interview to interview many people concerning the problem of the country. Some of them will say the problem of this country is because of the ethnicity. We have so many ethnicities and all that in this country. Some will say it's because of our density. The country is very very populated. That is the reason why the problem is so big. Some also will say this. Are, some also will say because of the need that they are very aged. They are they are more older than the country. That is the reason why there is no development. There is no progress to that country. But if you should uh, ask me to end my view, I will say none of these three is the problem that Nigeria is, is suffering. None of the none of this is the problem. Okay. So I was you know listening to many of the people who were being interviewed, who were saying something and stuff like that. Somebody like uh, P Square, one of them, Peter, what they call, he was saying that Nigeria, the youth should shine their eyes now that. 2010 in 2023 is is coming that our 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 destiny is on our hand through the previous year i mean they're talking about the nation that we should vote rightly and all that and many people also saying that we should vote rightly men <laughs> time have come that we should begin to reason with our head okay that is not a problem pvc is not the solution to our problem okay like i've said before we don't need a change of government. We need a change of governance. Okay? The change of governance is what we should be fighting for, not change of government. We have a series, we knew what had happened in the past, and the time has come that we should begin to compile all this that happened in the past and use it to form a formidable, a formidable solution to our future. Yes. We should use it. You see, if you're thinking about your PVC as the, 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 the gun in your hand to coordinate or to control your destiny. My dear, that is not it. Let me, you see, more, many people will say, what is he saying? Okay, if this is not a solution, then what do you think is the solution? Okay, listen, whenever I explain all these critical issues, 
you know i give facts okay i give reasons okay let us just talk of let just like all those uh, stuff i had enumerated why i said they are not the prominent i will come to this later where i enumerated like in terms of political zooms many people are talking about rotations you know who could be the reason that only the northern are the one who will be running well remember when good knock was in power what happened but i will tell you that good knock have the country in mind yes but it couldn't make any impact why because that is the major problem I we you know elaborate in this video this present government that is in now Buhari Buhari have the heart of Nigeria in heart. many people will say ah what is he saying yes Nigeria Buhari have the, 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 the this country in his heart if you could remember that was 2015 or so Buhari went to Lagos there was something they were doing campaign and all that is it Lagos or Abuja Abuja Buhari cried. He shed tears when he saw the nature of this country. He shed tears. When good knock increased pump price of fuel, Buhari said no. Why? That when he come, he's going to reduce it. But when he entered, what happened? There was an increment. Can you, the, the, most of the time we should think, what could be the reason why all these things are happening? Many of us don't know. Okay? Many of us are saying that the youth, we should give power to the youth, that the youth will innovate, will bring the uh, positive end of this country. But I say no. Even the youth cannot bring the solution to this problem until that solution, until that problem is solved. Okay? Let me just elaborate this. There was a time, no, not a time, now that the, during this period of, you know, uh, of uh, um, what they call protests concerning this answers and all that, there was a youth, this uh, what they call this guy that was elected into the house, state house of assembly in Lagos State, one of the states there. What they call a Desmond idiot. <laughs> I say idiot. Yes, he's idiot. Uh, Desmond idiot. He's a youth like us who we are voted. Many when this guy entered into a position, we are happy that this guy is going to speak the heart, uh, this, the heart of the youth to the people and all that. But what happened during this period? We knew, we saw that Desmond idiot, you know, Tom back on youth he turned back on youth then what happened i told you like i may mention of a good know who have the heart of this country making he enter into the power he changed we talk of um, Buari, he have the heart of this country making he enter into the power he changed we talk of you no know, um this uh, youth he making he enter into power he changed then could you think what is happening okay now this is the reason why i want to and elaborate. I want to discuss the main reason concerning this, uh, this, uh, the problem of this country. Okay. See, let me tell us. Many of people are saying that the the power to change this country is in our hand through the uh, election and all that voting. My dear, that is not the problem. That that we can in that area, if we channel our attention, our energy on that, we cannot bring the positive solution to this problem. The reason why we are why I'm saying this is that it is true that Nigeria is partisan democracy okay the power to the power of the people to the people and all that but is this working this is not working if you're saying that your power is in your voters card in your nation and all that when do we come in we only come in in general election is it not where we we'll come out to vote in general election as even our nation even the one we vote we don't even have that uh, no guarantee that the someone who will vote is going to be the one to win because we saw during this and um, um what they call during this protest we saw one of the police station we see many many pvc pvc that was in the police station what do what do they do they do ringing and all that so we are not sure of that okay away from that if we are thinking that this is the the pvc is an instrument to change the government or the to change the frontier of, the, of our government let me tell us before we come out to vote in the general election, they do what they call primary election. Okay? Primaries are owned by the parties. So the, it is the rule of the party to scream line who they want to represent them. In that respect, do we know who is coming? It is only who the, those that the party present for us to vote are the ones we are going to vote. And we are going to vote from the option that they make available to us okay 
So before anyone come out from that party, that party must, I mean, that party, the person must be accountable to the party. Whatever the party says is what they're going to do. Remember what um, Buhari, um, sorry, good knocks is when he was in, in government. He said he never knew that was how that place was. Even this government, the wife of the president, Asha Buhari, said that the Kabas are the one who is leading this nation. Don't you have it? We, we, we had what, when the lady said it, is the uh, Kabas are leading this nation. So, like, let me, talking about what I was explaining before, in our past election, we have only only uh, uh, we have uh, parties, different parties that came out for the presidential election. But many of us knew about only two parties, which is PDP and APC. Other parties were not hard because these people are the people who we knew. So if we are coming out to vote in, in general election, we are going to vote the ones that the party have represented, have brought out that we should vote. We the populace, we the youth does not go into into primaries to to enact the primaries and all that. Okay, see, if you find that if you even look on the, the the general election, what transpired during the general election, you will find that it wasn't even what we voted was what we saw. The the outcome of the election, it wasn't it. Okay, so what I'm saying in effect is that we shouldn't wait in 2013, uh, sorry, 23 to see uh, during the time of election. But let us come in mass now to say, during this protest and all that, to say no to impunity, no to a bad government, no to corruption and all that. Say this is the, the solution of this pro, uh, the, the problem of this nation, not the power. Because the, those who we are voting in, they are not the real person that is needing this nation. We have some cabas who are back, at the back seat who is needing this country indirectly. They are the people who are needing this country. The governor or the president will just come out to read a speech that had been written by someone else. So they need concern according to the details of the person who had picked them into that position. Okay? That is exactly that what is happening in when you know in the whole Tarisi state, Godfatherism and all that. Someone who brought you into the power, you you will you you will what you will please them. If you refuse to please them, there's let me tell you, there are two three things that that seat, that position brought gives if you are not ready to listen to them what will happen either they will sign when you once you enter into that, into that seat either you will you, you will do according to your details or you will see your see in your mouth you will shut up you will see in your mouth or you 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 will pack your seat and go and if you pack your seat and go your family your generation will not forgive you because it's a national cake you have the privilege, it's a, it's a position that you cannot have again in your lifetime. You have a, a privilege to, to take your, your national cake, your pack and all. You can't. Rather, you, 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 will, you, 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 will, you will gratify them, okay, by doing all this. Is. You see somebody like, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, our vice president, you know, you know, since he entered, he was silenced. He became a dumb. He, he cannot speak. Either you will do to their details, or you, you will see in your mouth. That was exactly what, what they did. They conditioned the guy. He couldn't uh, uh, say anything. Someone who is a professor and law, who are good in talking and all that, for a good three years, they have not spoken a word to tell you what the power of that city is. Okay? So, what we should do is, those who are running that country, is the Kaaba and the House of Assembly, those uh, the non-makers. These are the people who are needing that country, not the figurehead, say, a governor president and all that. They are the figurehead, okay? So what I'm saying in effect is that talking about waiting till 2023 to use your PVC, it cannot work. It cannot bring a solution to this party. If you decide to say, ah, we are tired of APC, let us bring PDP. Then all the caucus, all the people who are from PDP, before you know, they will migrate to, to, to PDP again. We are, they are the same set of people. So all the, you are talking about your PVC, it's not the solution to this problem. The solution to this problem is that we should come out in mass to say no to impunity. Let there be a reduction, like I mentioned in my last video, that the, the non-makers, the senators, the, the non-makers, the judges and all that, let their salary be cut into two, even more than into two and all that. They will use all this thing to employ, to bring, you know, alleviate the poverty of this country, employ the unemployment and all that. 
this and we stop all this uh, carabas when this uh, position is no longer uh, no, no longer so when this is done the that, that position will not be something like do or that affair okay it will be on those who want, who have the heart of this country who want to serve this country okay when their salary is reduced to like the senior naturalists you see it will not be like do or that the, the, the interest of godfatherism and the interest of all these things will be reduced to the barest minimum. That is, that is what I think I see to be the solution to the whole problem. So because of our time, this is where I'm going to stop for this today's video. So, no, see you next time. Thank you.